good morning good morning to all my dear students this is your computer class and i am your computer teacher i hope you are very much fine at your home keeping yourself healthy by staying at home and similarly following our vst schedule now my dear students let me start with the first session before that i want to talk with you in general i want to talk with you right now you might be using nowadays you might be using desktop computer laptop computer tablet or your mobile smartphones at home okay i i i know i know i know you are using it for your learning purpose you are not going to make it overuse of these devices for listening the song for playing the videos or for downloading the music i know you are not using for this but nowadays as our study demands as our virtual classes demands we have to use these devices for a study purposes okay now <clears throat> you might have observed one thing when we start using all these devices it can cause a stress on few parts of our body like our neck can start paining shoulder can start paining or suppose uh, it can cause a maximum stress on our eyes this can happen okay so let us talk about this today okay when you start working on a computer for long hours for long time do one thing take a regular break okay take a regular break you can go outside you can play outside for just couple of few minutes you can come back use your few time you few time for eating drinking water and again you can come back to your computer practice okay so this will keep you fit healthy okay and it will not put any additional stress to any of your body part and all these activities when you take a break and go outside do some exercise start playing cycling reading and then again you come back and again you start your work on computer it is called as healthy computing practices a new word i am telling you today healthy computing practices computing means working on a computer for so long time so when you start working on a computer for so long time you need to take a break you need to do some exercise okay i want to show you something very important let me share you one picture for this okay just watch carefully see i want to show you this particular screen on your screen see these are doing some computations means they are using laptop computer they are using desktop computer or tab or smartphone okay so <clears throat> are you using your computational devices and like this this your body posture is like this na then this is very wrong okay because it can cause here see it can cause pain into your shoulder it can cause fatigueness or it can start paining or stressing your eyes like this okay so you need to take care of that so instead what you will do you have to avoid this and you have to do some healthy practices again i want to show you some uh, beautiful exercises for you okay now uh, let me show you some exercises which are very reserved for you see in this picture this is the picture of your textbook this boy when he start working on a computer for so long time 
he used to go outside play and again come back to the normal practice <clears throat> so while working on a computer for a very long period you can take a break and it is my sincere suggestion you suggestion to you to please follow some exercises called as asanas so these are the asanas it is also given in your study plan okay so please follow this these asanas so i'm going to explain you this for today and this is our chapter number 1 okay we have started our chapter number 1 and as you know the name of our lesson is safety while computing this is your chapter number 1 okay so <clears throat> look at this picture how this girl is sitting properly on the chair and how she is working properly using her computer and this is called as correct posture this is called as correct posture posture means the way she is sitting the way she is balancing her neck her back side her hands and the position of the leg all her body part she is well balancing and she is it is called as posture okay now see i want to show you this important picture okay now let us beginning asanas for you asanas exercise asanas for you yoga for neck see this is asan number 1 griha sanchalana sanchalan how to move it griha means your neck so what you will do <clears throat> you need to tilt your neck like this for few second tilt means like this you need to bend it not fully as much as you can bend it towards your right for few second bring it to the original position and again bend it to the left side of your own and just keep in this position for few second again come back to the your original position okay so this is the yoga for neck okay this you will do at home beta huh? under strictly under the guidance of your parents strictly under the guidance of your parents okay now see this is yoga for shoulder and back now this skandha chakra skandha means shoulder and see the way she is moving her shoulder like this you need to fold your hands onto your shoulder like this and you need to just rotate it once okay clockwise and again pause for some time rotate it towards anti clockwise okay now <clears throat> this is dhanurasana alankara alankarna dhanurasana okay and this is samakonasana samakonasana samakona samakon is the word used in sanskrit samakon means it is related to the angle the angle you are using i already shown you one picture in which i shown you that particular girl sitting on a computer and doing with work with the computer my dear students while you working on a computer your angle is very important your eyes should be very straight then uh, your neck and chin should be very straight your back side back portion should be also very straight and you should maintain a perfect 90 degree angle cone while you are sitting on a computer and typing to your keyboard or handling your mouse so this asan also you have to do at least for once again i want to put a more stress on you that please perform these asanas perform these exercise in front of your parents 
under the strict guidance of your parents okay next is yoga for hands and wrist yoga for hands and wrist mushtika bandhan mushtika means fist fist you know this fist this is called as fist you can bend your fingers towards your palm hold it tightly not as much as tightly that it start paining you this is fist okay so you can just make the fist and rotate towards left and right through the wrist to the wrist mani bandhana chakra see this is mani bandhana chakra mani bandhana means from your wrist okay and next is hasta uttasana these are all sanskrit words and uh, see hands how you have just put your hands like this make it for once make it okay just lift them up again lift them bring it down bring to the original position you have to follow these exercises at least for 5 to 10 minutes better okay so i hope you have understood all these exercise please go through these exercise once only read your book and just go for the ppt which is given along with the resources and it will show you many more things i will definitely continue the same topic in the next session i will describe you i will show you some more pictures depends on the healthy computing practices similarly go through the video also which is shown in your resources okay so i wish you all the best and keep in touch with your studies do exercise stay healthy fit fine we are really missing you a lot definitely we will be meeting once again when school will get reopen till that time you just prepare this particular topic i will again come back to you in my next next session please go to the worksheet also okay till that time wish you all the best at home thank you very much